Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn exporting data from Gen 5 to Excel. So I have absorbance data in in this file right now. It's my experiment file and I'm going to export this. First thing what you want to do is you want to try exporting as many things as possible so that it's is so that your Excel file has everything you need and you don't need to go back to this protocol. So let's first export this layout. And there's your Excel file. You can also export the way you added your samples, even though it doesn't. Yeah, so this does tell you what samples were added and how the replicates were set up. So yeah, you can add, export this as well. So the so it's exported. Let's click on statistics, and I want in statistics I want you to only only export the blank five sixty. So let's export this. So as you can see, the software exports all these in different windows, but I want you all I want you to put all of these in the same window. So let's copy this and bring it here. And we'll also copy all of this and bring it here. Okay. So you have the data right here. If you have any any names for this, it's 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 advised that you give the name so that any person other than you who's really who's looking at these results, they know what this wells corresponds to. So let's say this is my toxin at hundred micromolar concentration. This is another toxin with fifty micromolar concentration. And this is a toxin with five, not fifty. And let's say this is no toxin. And I had the same thing repeated over again in down here. Let's not go there for now. Okay. So what does the program give you by default? It gives you the mean, it gives you the standard curve, it gives you the percent coefficient of variation. However, the problem is sometimes there are values that we don't like or are outliers um let's see if we can find any outlier in this data or let's assume this was an outlier i this uh, let's say this value was too high compared to the other two replicates and i want to exclude this the problem with the data that's been given by the software is if i delete this or if i change this the mean and the standard deviation and the percent coefficient of variation these don't change because these values are not linked to these values and that's a problem so what I want you to do is I want you to use Excel so that these values and all these become linked so let's see how we can so what we are going to do is we're going to manually or use we are going to use solve this Excel to calculate the mean standard deviation and CV value by ourselves and we'll just remove everything that the software gave us you just need the raw values from the software and not these so under mean I'll click on equal I'll type equal to average double click on average and under blanks 560 select the three replicates so in fit for your experiment if there are two replicates or four replicates you will just select all the replicates for that particular sample close the bracket and press enter similarly I'm going to find out the standard deviation for these three samples. Remember, standard deviation is the relative uh, spreading of data. So this is relative to the mean. So again, I'll find I'll press equal to stdev. Click on this one. Double click on stdev.s. Select the three values. Close bracket. Enter. 
Now compared to standard deviation, percent coefficient of variation is the absolute measure of data dispersion while this is a relative measure of data dispersion. The way you calculate percent CV is you divide the standard deviation by the mean and you multiply this by 100. So here is your standard deviation. Now I want since all these three all, all, all these values have decimals only up to the third di digit I also want these to have the decimals till third digit. So select all these three click on decrease decimal so you have your decimal decrease to three places now are you going to repeat the same thing for all these samples you don't need to all you have to do is select the three three wells and go at the corner you'll see this black colored plus sign now drag it all the way to the bottom and the program automatically calculates the average, the standard deviation and the percent CV for you. If you find any percent CV that's below 20%, I highly suggest that you mark it as red. So this is not 20%, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it black. Uh, in, in this data, everything is below 20% and that's that means actually this is a good data. There's not a lot of dispersion. You know, the, the benefit of this versus what the program gave you is let's say I don't want I don't like this value I don't I want to classify this as an outlier I don't want it to be considered in my program I can just change this value or just I'll just add a star to it by adding a star or asterisk I am this this value is no longer a number if it's not a number the mean cannot be calculated and the program will automatically exclude this now as soon as I click enter press enter you'll see the means automatically change because everything is like the standard deviation has changed the person CV has changed if I want to bring it back I want to include this value I'll just remove the star and everything changes automatically and that's and that's how you analyze data from gen 5 in Excel I hope this was helpful thank you